Hey, what's up everybody? This is Phil and Brandon from Zade Comics, the writer and artist at the company and just the two best looking brothers in all of comics. We're back for another update video. Uh, we skipped last week because we had a lot of stuff to get done and uh, we are back to talk everything Zade Comics, what's going on this week. So uh, this is a pretty cool week in progress for us because tomorrow we're scheduled to get the proofs of the Lost Pages 1 reprint. Did you know about that? I heard that it was, uh, it had shipped out. I On its it way. Out. Yeah, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. We'll see, uh, I checked the tracking and it hadn't updated in a couple days, so maybe it's in, uh, you know, on its way. Uh, but that's gonna be awesome to get that. The, the real reason I wanted to definitely get proofs for this one is because we have the new cover, right? We haven't seen this Dan Dahl cover in print yet, so we wanna make sure that all the coloring looks good. Um, on that and uh, it's also if you guys haven't grabbed that book yet it's also kind of like a remastered version there is um, you know uh, edits to some of the lettering in there and maybe even some changes to some things uh, you know lettering wise just to add to the story nothing taken out or anything um, but yeah that's super exciting getting proofs in that's something awesome now that we have all of that content done for that first book. We're able to get some early proofs in. We'll have them on streams to show off uh, probably later in the week. So th that's awesome. And then also this week we're putting in the orders for the trading cards, which I think there's four of them for this campaign, the new trading cards that are going uh, up. I just finished up the, the backs of the cards last night, um, just Photoshopping them up and, and putting to them together. Uh, so we have the um, uh, Lost Page Animated Series Silhouette Trading Card that everybody's going to be getting, the Backed, the, the Jazz Stone one for Crimstone, that awesome pinup, the, oh, oh, the Playing Card, the Kenneth Rocafort one for the Silhouette, and then those who grabbed um, the book that were on the mailing list are going to be getting that John Malin Eldorado card which is gonna be gold foil. So that's kind of the, the last one we have to look over, making sure the, the gold foil is gonna go on there specifically the way we want it to. And then today, I think we're, we'll put in the order for all of those, because totally completed, which is cool. I mean, that's an, another, we always talk about the trading cards. Awesome to get more people on board to draw the characters and bring more content to you guys. Uh, if you guys missed out on the first Lost Pages campaign and uh, weren't aware of this, you could actually get all those trading cards that we had for free on those campaigns in a sealed wax pack in the add-on section. Something uh, kind of special. We had all those cards left over, so wanted to have a kind of exclusive thing the way you can get them if you didn't already. Yeah, a lot of people might have missed out on them, so it's a, another cool way, unless they see us at like a convention or something, but those are, they're coming back. But yeah, it's not who too knows? Often. Who sure. knows when we're going to be able to get go to conventions. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, last week, uh, if you guys missed out on this, over on Michael Bancroft's show, we did a deep dive on the Lost Pages. The first one. The first, the first book, yeah. yeah, which was really cool. Michael's doing these uh, cool deep dive streams on books that have already came out and uh, he actually flips through the books, talks to the creators about what was going on, um, you know, creating that uh, book and we did that. Brandon and I jumped on a stream and we looked through the first book as well as the supplemental Myths of the Lost Pages yeah. book. So that was really cool. It's interesting uh, going through that and revisiting that. I like that he went through the myths of the Lost Pages also. I, I didn't think he was going to do that. So we got to see the other characters in the universe too. And then the uh, the chat was also like helping us gauge that. Well, that was really fun. I didn't think we were going to do that. And uh, I'm happy to see, you know, like all those characters back out there again. Yeah, I really like that he's doing shows like that because you don't really get a chance to focus on the story and, and go through everything with an audience um, and someone who backed it and like Michael 
And I think he really wanted to go through that myths book because he was early on when we shipped those out, he was kind of like an advocate for that supplemental material. He said that he even liked it better than the main book because it was kind of like snippets of everything and all these new characters. Um, so yeah. That's one of those things always interesting. We talked about in the last update was um, like making your stories so that they seem like they're longer than they are. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about how he thought they were like six to eight pages in many cases. Right. And every single story in that Myths of the Lost page is only four pages right. maximum. Mm -hmm. So that's a really interesting like look at kind of that mentality yeah, and for sure. you know, people reading those shorter stories if they're written well. Yeah, it, it was it was awesome. Lots of fun. I always love talking about this stuff and uh, story-wise. So go back, you know, of course, sub to Bancroft's channel. I'm sure you already are, but if you're not, go check it out and uh, watch that deep dive stream because a lot of content in there going over everything and all the artists and the coloring and stuff because Michael's an awesome artist himself. So getting that uh, artist eye on there, uh, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, oh, lettering is going great. So I just put out a big update today on the campaign of how progress is going, um, added everything up and what we have left to get done book-wise for the campaign. Uh, you'll like this, this we have, so for the main book, the silhouette story, Maxie has 13 pages to draw left. Um, and then we have the epilogue to get through, which is uh, Dan Dahl's doing two pages for that. We have the people ash can. There's two pages left for Avery to get done. And I know he's already working on them. I'm sure they're, those are almost complete right now. Um, and then that story will be finished for arts. And then for lettering, I am 27 pages into the main story for lettering. And uh, then we just have to letter up the ash can and that'll be complete. The, the cool thing about this is all of the coloring basically for the main book is done um, because just the kind of parts that Avery Butterworth did for the intro and outro of the story is already completed. So all of the silhouette stuff, once it's done, I just have to add the letters and kind of like the spot coloring for the action and blood and we don't have to send it to a colorist or anything and that's a wrap on that so uh, things are zooming fast you know we're right on schedule i think for uh hitting our dates on everything and you know of course we gave ourselves a cushion for for deadlines i, I kind of like to tell our artists kind of like an early deadline so if they miss it you know, i don't have to uh, uh be disappointed or anything we only take two of their fingers. Yeah, yeah. So everything's going great. Uh, having a blast lettering everything because that's like the spot where you see the page in full. You know, it looks totally completed once you have those word balloons on there, and it turns into a story rather than just a page of art. So if you guys are interested, go check the update because I put a new page up there. With, I actually put the first page of the book fully lettered um, and yeah it's it's going great uh, we're loving it um, other news for Zade Comics um, so the Diaz Brothers show stream is uh, getting the upgrade you know for next year yes. and we're in progress on working on that that's a uh, yeah we mentioned this on the show this past week and you know subsequent or, uh, previous shows that it, it's going really well the Diaz Brothers show is on Friday at 7 30 Eastern time everybody check it out it's been going very well having a lot of great um, uh, activity in the chat as well so what we're doing is trying to upgrade the show make it more involved and more like uh, more uh, production value. Yeah, production value it'll, for sure. It'll uh, increase the value of the show, we hope, and hopefully it'll increase the audience and everybody in the chat will love it. And I, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And so, you know, progress is being made on that, which is awesome. And it's always fun to make progress here. 
Um, other than that, I don't know. We got the hard line tonight. That's right. And uh, so you guys could tune into that. What is that? Ten uh, ish Eastern, Eastern right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine Central, and uh, we do that every Monday. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, just trying to bring you guys more entertainment uh, on the channel and being more involved with everything. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Definitely, if you haven't yet backed the Lost Pages 2, do so. We have a bunch of awesome extras in the update section that you could add on to your purchase if you already did back. And we will see you guys throughout the week with more stuff. Bye. Right. But the minds of the scum and the souls of the vile know nothing of the darkness shrouded within the silhouette only on Indiegogo.